Is this what they did in ancient Peru to get perfectly fitted blocks? Did they get out their toolbox, get out their rulers, tape measures, calipers, protractors, markers and crayons, stuck their wet finger in the air to see what direction the wind was blowing on that day? Before, they got all their figures and measurements to within a margin of error to ten thousandth of an inch. Then they got their copper hand saws, chisels, and pounder stones to smooth down the stones, to get perfectly smooth edges and corners. Then set each block perfectly to the contours of all other blocks already assembled in the wall, which allowed them to get 360 degrees of perfection across the entirety of the cross section of the wall. People keep insisting that they know for sure that we can replicate these tightly fitted stones with modern technology, and they swear that they have seen it done, or if not that, they then say we have the capability to do it but it's just expensive now, so that's why we don't do it. Or, that cutting stones isn't that advanced, not realizing that all our modern fancy high-rise buildings are made from the same stuff that these rocks are made of. But what if the actual process was that the ancients had a way to heat up the stones in a very targeted way at the molecular level, but not necessarily with fire, and not to melt the stones fully, but to instead get them close to an almost lava-like state, with the stone's interior still being solid, but sections of the exterior surfaces reaching an almost lava-like state, resembling hot coffee taffy, where the blocks already in the wall would be closer to normal temperatures as they begin to cool but the blocks currently being lifted would be closest to this gooey lava-like state, such that once placed atop the other blocks it would adhere to the other blocks' shapes and contours. Also, perhaps rather than using straps, ropes and chains, which would get in the way, since ropes and chains would have to go beneath the blocks, what if they use clamps that look like ice tongs, which they set to fit beneath the protruding knobs seen at the sides of all ancient blocks?